Hello everyone, my name's Alessia. Welcome back to my YouTube space. Today we're going to be covering two little pearls of wisdom that I've come across through researching that have made me feel so good and I wish I knew them sooner. I really think this is gonna be so useful for you. The two tips complement each other, so make sure you listen to the end. Please subscribe, by the way. So my first nugget of information kind of thing I want you to think about is happiness. Happiness is not something that you can achieve and then just have it. You don't get that job or move to that place and you just confirm that you're going to be happy forever. Happiness, just like anger, sadness, frustration, is just another emotion that you will experience from time to time. I want you to step away from that goal of being happy 100% of the time. This is something that the media, again, I always feel like I'm pointing blame at the media, but the idea of being happy is very much thrown in our faces through advertisements and movies and Instagram. It's very much sold to us now. Happiness is booming. It's selling so much. Happiness is not something that humans are wired to feel 100% of the time. It's literally our human nature to feel a multitude of different emotions every day. That is normal. If you imagine it, if you're constantly happy throughout your life, how would you know that you are happy? Because that would just be normal. You need to feel the lows in order to feel the highs. If you don't know what sadness feels like, then you won't know what happiness feels like. This might seem really obvious to you, but I really needed to hear this because I put a lot of pressure on myself to feel happy. And when I do feel a bit low or lethargic or unmotivated, I go, oh, but I'm doing everything I can. I'm meditating, I'm eating healthy. Why am I not happy? So I want you to stop telling yourself that whenever you're sad, you're not enough and you're wrong and you're doing things wrong and you're not prioritizing your mental health enough because sometimes you just are sad and that is just human and that is just gonna happen. The more you fight it, the more you will feel that negative emotion and other added on negative emotions. Your mind is probably going, oh yes, I put too much pressure on myself to be happy all the time. It actually doesn't stem from you. It stems from the kind of mental wellness industry, the positivity, happiness industry is trying to sell us this idealized life that is unobtainable to humans. We can't be constantly content. We are wired to survive in the wild, which means we need to be alert, looking for things that could disturb us, that could put our safety in jeopardy. I want you to stop fighting these negative emotions and start thinking, do you know what? This is just being human. This is what this is. I'm just being human right now. Right, my next tip might sound like a complete and utter contradiction to the first tip, but it's not. And if you just bear with me until the end, it will make sense. So I've just blabbed on about how feeling the negative emotions is normal. However, I also want to make it clear that you are not powerless. How you experience the world can very much be according to how you choose to view the world and what you choose to focus on and look at and appreciate or not appreciate. This is something that I've really, really needed to hear. I'm really good at blaming my environment. Stop waiting for the world to quiet down. Stop waiting for everything outside to shift so that you feel good inside. Feeling good inside is something that you have a say in. When you walk into a field, your mindset determines how you perceive that moment in time. You could walk into the field and think, oh, so cloudy today. Oh my gosh, there's so many noisy kids around screaming. It's so annoying. Oh, I've only got half an hour and then I've got to go back to work. Or if you walk into the field and think, oh look, all the kids are playing together. They're so happy and carefree. I really want to absorb some of that carefree, happy energy from them. I'm gonna sit and watch them in this beautiful green, vibrant grass. I've got a whole half an hour to just think purely about me and put work aside. And I'm so grateful that I have this time because some people don't even have that right now. Now. Some people are busy in their little work holes right now, whilst I am present and at one with the world, with nature. Those are two ways of interpreting a situation. And if you do have the space and the luxury of choosing to actually look at all the beautiful little intricate details around you, then you should do it. Take a deep breath, become present and express gratitude.
I could focus on how my family are moving around and it's creating noise that could disturb the video for you lovely people. I could get really frustrated by that and anxious and then articulate this not as well as I would like to and it could spiral and just go horribly wrong. Or I could think, wow, the sun has come out whilst I'm filming this video. The birds are flying past, which are making me feel more present and calm. I've got a nice warm tea to warm my insides. There are so many things I could be grateful for in this moment. How you perceive things do really determine how your reality unfolds. When I choose to take a look at all the beautiful things going on around me, I notice more beautiful things pop up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.